Hi everyone, in this video I am discussing about hyperconjugation effect. Hyperconjugation, it is a special kind of resonance in which delocalization of electrons takes place through partial overlap between sp3 s sigma bond orbital and pi orbital or sp3 s sigma bond orbital with a p orbital, empty p orbital of an adjacent carbon atom. This is known as hyperconjugation effect. This effect is also known as sigma pi conjugation. Why? Because uh, here the uh, delocalization of electrons takes place between uh, sigma bond orbital and pi, pi orbital. So it is also known as sigma pi conjugation. And this effect is also known as no bond resonance. Why? Because uh, delocalization, after delocalization of electrons, there will be no bond between C and H. So this effect is also known as no bond resonance. And this effect is also known as baker nathan effect. Let us see in alkene. Here it is the sp3 s sigma bond orbital. And here it is the pi bond between C and C. So it is pi orbital. Here uh, there is a partial overlap between sp3 s orbital and pi orbital. In carbocation it is the sp3 s sigma bond orbital and it is the empty p orbital. Uh, it is a permanent effect and it is also distant independent. There are three conditions to take this hyperconjugation. What are they? The hydrogen attached to carbon which in turn attached to double bonded carbon or carbonium ion or carbon free radical. These are the three conditions. Let us see the hyperconjugation structures in alkene. In propane, here uh, the carbon which is attached to the double bonded carbon is alpha carbon. The hydrogens attached to car alpha carbon are al alpha hydrogens. When uh, here these three hydrogens are alpha hydrogens. These three alpha hydrogens involved in hyperconjugation. We can see the uh, hyperconjugation structure. If this hydrogen involved in delocalization, uh, we can observe double bond here. This pi bond will break and electrons are shifted towards this carbon. And next, if this hydrogen involved in delocalization, Hydrogen will get positive charge and here double bond and these electrons are shifted to this carbon. So it will get negative charge. If these electrons are involved in delocalization, this is the hyperconjugative uh, structure. Uh, these are the three hyperconjugative structures and total structures are 3 plus 1, 4 structures. And next to see, we can see carbocation. Here there are three alpha hydrogens. This is the alpha carbon. And these are the three alpha hydrogens. If this hydrogen is involved in delocalization, the electrons are shifted to here. And then positive charge will go on. And if this hydrogen is involved in delocalization it will get positive charge and here we can get pi bond and if this hydrogen is involved in hyperconjugation it will get positive charge and these electrons are shifted to here so double bond these three are hyperconjugative structures. Total structures are four. And next, carbon free radical. Here also, it is alpha carbon, which is attached to carbon free radical. These three are alpha hydrogens. These three involved in hyperconjugation effect. If this hydrogen is involved in hyperconjugation, it will get positive charge. And these electrons are shifted here. So, double bond. Here let us say it is one free radical. 
here there are two electrons one electron is shifted here and this electron will shift here so one bond will form here it is one free radical if this hydrogen is involved in hyper conjugation here also two electrons one electron involved in pi bond here one radical involved in pi bond on hydrogen one free radical we can get and if this hydrogen is involved in hyper conjugation here also hydrogen get one free radical and one electron involved in pi bond with the free radical on ch2 these three are the hyper conjugative structures and total structures are four you must remember that number of alpha hydrogens is equal to number of hyper conjugative structures and the name of hyper conjugation effect is bakker nathan effect let us see the positive hyper conjugation effect if electron releasing group ch3 group is attached to the conjugated system it releases electrons towards the benzene molecule here let us see uh, if hydrogen is uh, involved in delocalization it releases electrons towards benzene molecule when hydrogen releases electrons it will get positive charge and here we can get pi bond and this pi bond will break and release electrons towards here and next these electrons are shifted towards here and this pi bond will break and electrons shifted here and these electrons are shifted here this pi bond will break and electrons are shifted here these electrons form pi bond and these electrons are shifted towards here let us see here uh, at 2 4 6 positions uh, the positions will be electron rich here uh, substitution reactions will take place so this positive hydro hyper conjugative effect is also known as ortho or para directing effect and next reverse hyper conjugation effect that is also known as minus h effect uh, here uh, cf3 it is electron attracting group it attracts electrons from conjugative system when it attracts electrons from conjugative system it can get negative charge and this pi bond will break and the electrons are shifted towards here and here we can get positive charge this pi bond will shift it to here and here we can get positive charge and this pi bond will shift it here here we can get pi bond and here we can get positive charge
this pi bond will shifted here and these electrons are shifted to towards carbon in this way at second fourth sixth positions the positions will become electron deficient and then at the third and the fifth positions will become electron rich uh, three and five positions are meta positions so at these meta positions substitution reactions will take place so this effect is known as meta directing effect thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel